What's up, dudes and dudettes? My name's Seth, and we are back here for another trove. Weird invisible flute that I've been doing for almost 200 episodes, even though I think I only started it in episode 38. Or something like that. Anyway, before we start today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be giving away the Laden Slay. So if you want to earn this, as well as just support me in general, Hadouk in the like button, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below, and then you will qualify for this thing. We will choose somebody at random and get it to you in game as soon as possible. Big shout out right here. It's been a long time since I did a shout out because I barely ever do shout outs anymore because I can't. I just can't, ladies and gentlemen. Brr! So let's go to you four. But big shout out to Lord Sithis. Actually, there, there's been quite a few people, like, lots of people give me stuff. I, <laughs> I'll say that. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I don't really do shout outs anymore. Not to mention, there are just so many people I can barely do shout outs. But a shout out to my good buddy, Lord Sithis, because he gave me a crap ton of dragon souls so that we could finally get our hands on the maximum moon dragon. Because I ended up getting up to about 58 souls, I think. And then pretty much i couldn't get on trove anymore like that was that was a couple that was like i got to 58 souls in like two days or something like that with me just grinding them over and over again and now i'm i'm busy again like that's that's kind of trove goes in waves where i get busy hello there's only like five people okay whatever i get i get busy doing things and other games and stuff like that so i cannot be doing trove all the time anyway laser beams look and i love that smoky fire look at it it's so glittery and beautiful the video effects of this dragon are my favorite yet look at it nah, die <laughs> it's crazy man so now we truly are venom uh, riding on an evil Martian dragon. We're riding on Mothra. I need to have a dragon draconis. I was about to call the class Kigurumi because that's pretty much what the class is now. Uh, I need to have a Godzilla mod. Then we would be able to fly this dragon and fly on Mothra perfectly. Get out of here, weird normal enemies. Oh, superior fans here as well. Okay. I don't know where everybody else is. I think it's not prime hours or half of the people around don't really know that I'm recording because that's the biggest thing that usually goes on is lots of people don't know Wah! that I'm recording. I am the secret hot dog. He's not dead. He's just hiding as a dragon. So here's the backstory for lots of people that are just tuning into the series. Uh, a little backstory, a little roleplay story that's going on behind the scenes. Don't really talk about it that much throughout the videos, but lots of people know about it because there's been lots of people that have tuned into the Trove series since, oh, no, since day one. So here's the story. Hopefully I don't die by all these enemies. So where is he? On the gunslinger. Not this cute little Mega Man costume, no. The hot dog costume, yes. Let's get to hot dogs. I'm gonna die in like two shots here. Get away from me! I cannot do it! Hot dog costume, run! Whoa! I don't know what's happening. Why is everyone dying? So anyway, this is the hot dog costume. It, I, I ended up getting this puppy a long time ago and I was rocking it all over the place. I am the hot dog. And pretty much, like, if you search, if you Google, like, Trove hot dog, you're gonna see pictures of this guy. And it's, it's really weird because I didn't even invent this costume or anything like that. But anyway, I am the hot dog. So there's the hot dog alliance and the hot dogs verse, they fight against the pinata assassin. So anytime somebody throws down a pinata and you destroy it, you are helping the hot dog alliance destroy the evil pinata assassins because the pinatas are heartless monsters and inside of them's candy. So they're delicious. And when you are the hot dog, you live and breathe hot dog. Get out of the way, you weird enemies. I'm gonna leave this to everybody else while I figure this out. So anyway, then the next step of the story that ended up happening was dragons came out. And suddenly when dragons came out, oh no, dragons love hot dogs. They wanna shish kebab them. They wanna broil them. They wanna, they want to eat hot dogs. They are delicious. I mean, if I do say so myself, the hot dogs are a delicious race. <laughs> so anyway, what we ended up doing is that's the role play of where the Dragon Kigurumi costume came in because we are still a hot dog right now. We are just hiding in dragon pajamas so that the dragons do not eat us. And of course, the new club that we are now, which we are, we're still the hot dogs. The hot dog is still prevalent in the game, that's for sure. But we are now the dragon PJs or the dragon pajamas. Plus, it also helps me to actually like 
since I created this costume, it's a lot easier for other people to get it rather than the hot dog costume you have to buy. This one is just a mod like uh, that I have in the description so you can download it for free. Plus, Draconis is my favorite class. Everybody always asks me, and I guess I don't really talk about it as much in the series nowadays, but yes, the Draconis has always been my favorite class, man, just because he's beautiful. And now, I mean, look at this. We got we got all these different colored costumes for the Kigurumi. We got blue, we got red. We can't actually rock them right now because everybody's in my face. And the other secret thing that's going on is there there are there is a secret story going on in the background that I'm kind of working on as I, I don't know where this lore is coming from. My head, I guess. Pew, pew, pew. So, there is another third evil race that is going on the entire time that nobody actually knows about. Not many people, but there are the evil chickens, which have actually been inside. I planned this since the beginning. The evil chickens have been in the Team Pixel Clubs since the beginning. The, you know, the, anybody who knows like the evil chicken episode a million years back knows the evil chickens have always been there. There's, there's not many of them, but there are some of them and they secretly control another secret thing that's going on in the background. They are, they are absolute evil, like straight up. They, they will peck your eyes out, man. And anyways, there is a secret fourth faction that is showing up because the chickens, because there's not that many of them, they had to recruit the Doge, which is the Lunar Lancer and pretty much anything about it. I don't have like a full on Doge costume or anything like that yet. Otherwise, we just keep rocking our Spider-Man costume. So anyway, the Doge are going to be a fourth race, which is even more evil. A anyone who can go to Team Pixel 5, just type slash join world space Team Pixel 5. And then you can go and see Doge City, which I ended up constructing for the lore. That's where they come from, an island of misfit toys that nobody knows about. And they are just so evil that I, there may, may, maybe the hot dogs will alliance with the pinatas once and for all for a temporary truce to verse the Doge, because the Doge, the reason they're dangerous is there is numbers, man. There is a lot of them, and they are a great fighting warrior race, pretty much like Amazons of some kind. Uh, because, I mean, look at the Doge on the internet. Everybody knows what that is. Nobody knows about the Hot Dog Alliance or anything. Oh, by the way, it is my Venom costume, which is part of this pack now, so you might want to re-download the uh, Spider-Man costume. But anyway... Yes, so the Doge is quite literally trying to take over the internet. I am the Doge as well. I am all of them. That's that's the real secret. I'm the real mastermind and controlling every single one of them. But anyway, yes, the Doge, because I just keep saying Doge, Doge, Doge. I, I know it's Doge or Doge or Doge, whatever. I say Doge because it sounds funny. That's, that's why I say it. Plus, I say it because it, I don't know why, I, like I'm reading it like it's a Japanese word or something. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yes, so that is the secret plot that is kind of going on in the background and These these plot devices don't necessarily show up anywhere other than me just mentioning them And then you all like continuing the plot throughout the series Well, not throughout the series just in the game like so many people are always talking about like hot dog divisions and stuff like that So there's hot dog division one which has like pretty much VIP me and a couple only a couple other people and we pretty much like hook each other up with anything that we can like item wise and stuff and then there's hot dog division 2 has kind of started and well all sorts of evilness anyway we're gonna finish this episode after this dungeon because i didn't even realize how much time had passed with explaining the story so now you all know the backstory that is going on ladies and gentlemen pure evil is right around the corner but thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i would also appreciate if you would have duke in the like button share favorite and subscribe to join team pixel so i don't stay epic everybody Yeah.